Hey there, you're watching Amitha Verma. I love love. I am a huge fanatic for love, love of all kinds, spouses, siblings, parents, your pets, anything goes. And I love bringing a little bit of romance to any project that I ever get to work on. I'm actually a huge fan of romance novels. I'm letting the secret out of the bag. I love reading romance novels and just falling in love with love, the struggles of love, the feeling of love, and all of those warm and fuzzies that come along with it. So you may be wondering, how do these two go together? And you love the idea, but you're not sure exactly how to include this in your home and in your projects. So today, in the spirit of love, I wanted to share a couple of ways to bring the romantic style into your home. So the first easiest way to add a little bit of love and romance into your home is with the addition of some fresh flowers. I love bringing flowers into my home. I used to do this as a Sunday ritual where I would go to the market, pick out whatever was available and pop these into a container in my kitchen or on my breakfast table. Don't overthink this. Go for whatever inspires you, whatever colors or flowers are in season and create a quick and easy arrangement to add into your everyday living. And if that's a little bit too hard, go for a set of artificial blooms. The next way you can bring something very romantic into your home is by adding something fanciful into your decor. You may be wondering what is fanciful? Fanciful is the thing that your husband or wife tells you not to buy because you don't need it. That's exactly the thing that I'm talking about. So this could be a beautiful tray or an antique object that captures your eye or an old antique painting that, that a new piece just can't express. Those are the kinds of things I love to add in little pockets throughout my home and design projects to bring a little bit of romance into my design. With things like the tray or the paintings or even the flowers, I don't wait for my spouse to get those things for me. When I'm feeling in the mood for romance, I just go out and find those things for myself. Another great way to add romance into your home is with the little decor objects that you've got placed throughout your home. Something as simple as these beautiful embroidered linen towels. These are a great way to move along with the seasons and have fun with your decor without making a huge commitment in your design. Now the next tip is gonna be a little bit of a stretch for you. We're going way back to the old school. I want you to take your phone, go to your photos album, and here's the crazy thing. You're gonna order three to five of your favorite prints, and we're gonna stick them in old photo frames. I know this is so crazy, but when I was working on my guest room and some of my bookshelves, I, I love all my decor, I love all the objects around me, but I couldn't see those moments that I wanted to see all of the time. And so I found a few photos of my children, some of my girlfriends that I hang out with, my mom, my sister, my dad, all the people who I wanna see on a day-to-day -day basis and started putting them back in old frames like the good old days. I love adding a little bit of romance with just the day-to-day -day objects that I use in my home. When I'm on the go, I have a whole collection of white coffee mugs. But when I want to have a little romance in my day, I switch over to these beautiful blue and fuchsia vintage style mugs to, to make my coffee feel a little bit more romantic. And one of the last things that you can do to feel romance is to look for something fun that reminds you of romance. Like I did when I stumbled upon these cute earrings over at Village Antiques. I just had to have them because as I told you before, I love love. Another great way to add the feeling of romance into your design is with the addition of finishes like gold, old brass, and crystal. There's nothing that says romance like an antique chandelier in a gilt finish or with that very classic brass and crystal combination to really make it feel very old and lived in and cozy. I often include these kinds of finishes on 
dining room projects, and especially in powder bathrooms. This is a great way to capture that romantic feeling. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And then when you're done, head over to our website where you can sign up to receive more free design tips. Till the next time we meet, keep making your home amazing with your design gifts.